Mali now dominated the land on both sides of the great river. Mansa Sunjata reigned freely from the gold mines of Bambuk to the city of Gao, but it was not enough. Sumanguru fled to a stronghold of Gombi Saleh, still wreaking havoc wherever he could. As long as he lived, he would be a threat to the peace of the realm. Sunjata called upon his men once again, began a long siege of the mighty Soso capital, the former seat of the Ghanese Empire. Sunjata would not be denied his final victory. Sumangaru has taken refuge in the old Ghani's capital of Kwambi Saleh. Let us finish this and be done with Sumangaru once and for all.
is ours, and Sun Garu's reign is over. Long live Sun Jata, king of the newly found No, I cannot die! Not like this! With peace in the Empire and his ancestors avenged, Mansa Sunjata settled well into his role as the ruler of Mali. In peace he was effective an emperor as he was in war, building markets and mosques across his lands. He was a model for all emperors to follow, making his country a center of learning and culture at the edge of the Sahara. For centuries afterward peace and stability reigned. And so I remain to tell his story. Balafaseke Kuyate is my name, his humble family historian, a jelly of superb bloodline and patronage. And this is Sumunguru's Balofan, which I stole before the battle at Karina, and played that day to inspire the victory of Sunjata. <laughs>